All right, if you've been feeling more anxious since the pandemic hit, you are not alone. According to the Kaiser Family Foundation, about four in 10 adult Americans have reported symptoms of anxiety or depressive disorder during the pandemic. That's compared to around one in 10 between January and June of 2019. Wendy Suzuki is the author of the new book, Good Anxiety, Harnessing the Power of the Most Misunderstood Emotion. It's published by Atria Books, an imprint of Simon & Schuster, which is a division of Viacom CBS. Wendy Suzuki is a professor of neuroscience and psychology at New York University. Good morning to you. Good morning. Um, I know you wrote this book, you said, before the pandemic yes. hit because of the number of people that have identified with having anxiety. Yes. Talk to us about what that is, the different levels, yeah. and how it can be a good thing. Right. So before the pandemic, 90% of Americans raised their hands and said, I suffer from anxiety. That was stunning. Mm -hmm. This is what made me want to write this book. And I realized we all needed a new way to approach anxiety. And I approached it from an evolutionary perspective. Evolutionarily, anxiety and the underlying physiological stress response evolved to protect us, protect us from external dangers, which is why it increases our heart rate, increases our respiration, and puts blood to our muscles so that we can either run away or fight those dangers. In your book, you said we need to be able to fail and have things not work out for us to really appreciate when things do work. Yes. And I think about Vlad, he always says this quote, thankful for the pain. Yes. You have to almost experience it to know mm -hmm. how to work through it. Yeah. And then you talk too in the book about how to control that anxiety. Right, right. And you've hit upon a really important element that I think people don't appreciate. That is, we are human beings with a huge array of emotions, not just the happy ones, Ones, but all of the uncomfortable ones too. Right. So part of the message of this book is can you appreciate the value, the knowledge and the wisdom that comes from looking in on what those uncomfortable emotions tell you about yourself, what is going well in your life, what you value in your life. Yeah, go ahead, sorry. I was yeah. just going to say, how, when you have all of this, yeah. so you say it can be good, it can be bad. How do you go about managing some yeah. of this anxiety? Then? Yeah, so that's a, great, that's a great question. And you manage it first by first realizing my anxiety doesn't feel protective for me right now. How can it be protective? And it's not protective because... Too much of anything, even a good thing, is bad. <laughs> right. And so we all collectively have too high a level of anxiety. We want to first learn to dial it down. You can do that very simply by breathing deeply, which physiologically activates our relaxation reflex. I yes. see you doing it right now. Yoga breath. <laughs> and, Yoga breath. I simple. didn't realize how important that was. It really is. Later in life, just yeah. breathing. Just breathing. breathing. That is the most powerful, immediate way we can do, we can decrease our anxiety. There's a whole list of tools that I provide in the book. But the second step, once you get that anxiety down, is to do what I was just saying. Turn inward. Start to examine what those uncomfortable emotions associated with anxiety are telling you about how you're living your life, what you value. But then the third element is that once you get that managed and start to learn more about your anxiety, you start to be able to develop what I call gifts mm. or superpowers from anxiety. So that is, that is the secret so, sauce. So the what book. is the superpower that one can develop yeah. if we are confronted with anxiety? Yeah. So let me give you my top three. Number one, turning to a superpower of productivity. And this is using that what if list that comes with your anxiety. <laughs> it hits me right before I'm going to go to sleep at night. Like, what if this? What if that? And you turn that into a to-do list. So you bring an action component to it, which helps resolve that anxiety. And it makes a superpower of productivity or a gift of productivity. Number two is the gift of flow. So typically, anxiety just cuts off that flow. You right. have no possibility of flow. But I've come up with the concept of microflow. And I came up with this in a yoga class. When I was <laughs> flowing in Shavasana, yep. I flow in Shavasana. I do it so well. And it's about appreciating those small moments in your day mm -hmm. where you do have flow that can contrast with those difficult moments. And really quickly, when should people seek help? 
Yeah. And when it when the breathing and exercising and looking at and writing things down isn't enough. Yeah. So that's a great question. So it is when you get to the level of overwhelm, it prevents you from doing anything productive in your life. That's when you should seek professional help. But this book is really for the rest of us suffering from everyday anxiety, which is close yeah. to 90% of us. 90% right. of us. Yeah. Wow. Definitely affects a lot of people. Wendy Suzuki, this is such a thank great you book. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Good anxiety. It goes on sale tomorrow. Make sure you pick it up. <laughs>